Hey everybody, Robert Fedorik here and welcome to How to Win a Hackathon. Knowledge 19 is just about upon us and that means another year of the hackathon. And if you ask me, I think the hackathon is one of the single most important and underplayed parts of the whole knowledge conference. There's something pure about it. See, the rest of the conference is ServiceNow telling you what their vision is for the next year, or vendors trying to sell proven things to people with buying power. There's nothing wrong with this, but the hackathon is where the rubber meets the road. It's a pure expression of the potential of the platform, where only those with either the skill or the vision can step into the arena and birth something new and innovative. If you don't believe me, consider that three quarters of the hackathons that I've won are now part of the platform or have apps on the ServiceNow store. So no matter who you are, you should participate or keep your eyes on the hackathon at Knowledge19. Now here's a list of the top six tips for winning a hackathon brought to you by a four-time winner. Number six, do not be intimidated. Want to know a little secret? I'm not the best developer in the world. I can name you a dozen ServiceNow developers that are better than me without even breaking a sweat. But I enter the hackathon every single year. You don't have to be an Apex developer. You can be a storyteller. You can be a project manager. You can be an idea person. Hell, sometimes all it takes is just another set of hands. Do it. Number five, start early. This should just go without saying. The sooner you start talking to a team or detailing your own idea, the better. And this is even more important when you consider number four, have a backup plan. Ah, uh, memories of Knowledge 14 where my team and I had the most awesome idea in the entire world, only to see that it was a customer highlight reel at the opening keynote. Number three, it just has to work. When my team won Knowledge 13, our app rebuilt Kickstarter inside the ServiceNow platform. We had a scratch built CMS portal, catalog items for data entry, several custom tables tracking projects, volunteered resources, volunteered budget, reward tiers, places where the rewards had been earned, and social media popularity scoring. But there was seven of us on the team, and we barely, barely, barely got it all done. At the end of the day, no one's gonna be looking too deep under the hood. The critical thing is that the application must just work. Number two, pick your features wisely. The usual eight hours goes by pretty fast, especially if you're an honest participant and you do your hacking at the hackathon rather than before. There's one lesson I have to learn over and over again at every hackathon. It's that all the things that I want to put in the app, I wouldn't even have time to present for in the time I'm given to pitch. So it doesn't make sense to have tons of features. Two or three killer ones that present really well is all you're going to have time for. And finally, the most important tip to winning a hackathon is learn to love the smell of BS. There's nothing more important than loving the smell of BS. BS is opportunity. BS is the sucking vortex destroying value. BS is the chasm dying for a bridge, the infection that needs medicine. BS is every time you went to work and said, I can't believe I'm dealing with this again. BS is the villain of the story where you're the hero and ServiceNow is your force, your Excalibur, your superpower. My proudest ServiceNow moment was at Knowledge 13, pitching our hackathon entry to Frank Slootman. Then I said, hey Frank, you know what's BS? The man stopped in his tracks, looked me straight in the eye, and listened to my full pitch. I'm nothing special, but I've been on four winning hackathon teams, and now you have the exact same tools I do. I hope to meet you on the hackathon battlefield at Knowledge19.